How's it going, guys? We have a past little question for Family Medicine TCK. If you're studying for step one, absolutely fair game for pathology. Not going to be a lengthy clip here, okay? Just cut to the chase, take exactly what you need to know. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. Let's start the clip. 39-year-old woman, two-day history of an exquisitely painful sore on the inside of her lower lip. Vitals are within normal limits. She takes combined oral contraceptive pill that she commenced four months ago. Question wants to know the next best step management. So let's just hop to the answer choices here. Choice A, cycle your wrong fucking answer. This is not herpes, okay? And it should also be noted that her vitals are within normal limits. If a patient has a primary HSV infection, he or she will absolutely know. There is classically regional lymphadenopathy, painful lymphadenopathy with a fever, okay? For primary HSV infections, recurrences aren't as bad, but this, I'll talk about what the diagnosis is, but it's often confused with herpes. Patients can be worried about it. Acyclovir DNA polymerase inhibitor causes chain termination. You need to know that not only for HSV 1 and 2, but also for shingles, VZV, and resistance to this drug is going to be alter absent viral thymidine kinase. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, Gancyclovir, wrong fucking answer. This is for CMV. Okay, so... Same mechanism of action, resistance mechanism uh, as acyclovir. Blurry vision, HIV patients, CMV, retinitis. You can have odinophagia, painful swallowing, AIDS patient with linear ulcers on endoscopy. That's CMV, esophagitis. You can have CMV colitis, blood in the stool, CD4 count under 50. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, discontinuation of oral contraceptive pill, wrong answer. So no relation, just started to throw it in here, be an asshole. So what you should know for FM is that combined OCPs are an important etiology for high blood pressure in young women, okay? As well as increased intracranial pressure. If a girl commences an OCP and she's got headaches, you have to worry about increased intracranial pressure. Do not give, they're contraindicated in smokers over 35, as well as migraines with aura. Wrong fucking answer. Choice DHIV screening, wrong answer. Very general answer choice, distractor here. However, this shows up on some of the new internal medicine forms where you get a big paragraph, lots of things going on, you're not really sure, and they just want HIV screening, okay? Patient doesn't even have to be an, uh, an IV drug user. But they might have history of STIs, recent illnesses, and they just want HIV screening, okay? So I'm just letting you know that although a bit nebulous, a bit vague, uh, on some of the new internal medicine forms, they're a bit lenient in terms of having this as an answer. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, evaluation of patient's diet, correct answer. So this is the same thing as saying supportive care, no treatment necessary. I just decided to be a little bit of, of obscure with the answer choice here. So this is an aphthous ulcer. A P H T H O U S ulcer. Okay, aptus ulcer, aka canker sore. These are idiopathic and they are thought to have a mild autoimmune relation, although patients need not have autoimmune disease, thought to have a T cell related mechanism. But the etiologies are manifold, okay, numerous, and the environmental triggers also numerous. So, for example, Patient might have recently tried a new hot sauce. That might sound weird, okay? So spice changes in diet can sometimes precipitate aptus ulcers idiopathically in patients. So you just evaluate the patient's diet. You say, oh, you tried a weird hot sauce. Don't do that again. Uh, just no treatment necessary. Don't worry. It's not uh, herpes. No, you don't need acyclovir or anything like that. They're like, okay, good. And for you watching this clip here, you just need to not only know this diagnosis, but be mindful that this is an important differential alongside HS HSV, as I just fucking said. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.